three supernovas doing a show. Supernova game and come on, let's go! Hello, welcome to Supernova Gaming. I'm Time Supernova. I'm doing the gaming. We're playing Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2. We just got a visit by a really weird guy who wouldn't leave. And I wanted to R2 the crap out of him. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Nick's back! What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. You calm down. The door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? No. Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. I don't remember. You don't remember? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just <laughs> I just did everything to piss him what off. Was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? What are you doing? What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Shit! Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. Whoops. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. If she hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! I don't think any of those were the right answer. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Okay. I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. Oh, it's god damn it, story. lady! He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Oh. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? She doesn't care. We're trying to find Pete, damn it. Oh, it's open. Pete! There. That's where we were. Pete! Oh, Nick. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere.
Keep your eyes open, and stay in sight. Oh damn it. Oh Not Pete. Anyone see him? <sighs> hey Pete. Uncle Pete. How's it going? Not good? Okay. Oh my god. What if I told him to get back in the van? What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Shot? He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. Oh man. Go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. You gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. <laughs> I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Five days later. Depressed, depressed. Optimistically depressed. Optimistic. See anything? She better see something. I've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this back. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Alright, what else am I looking at? Uh-oh. A bridge and a sentry tower. Or maybe that's just... I think There's that's... a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. 
Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's you're not my dad, dad! You're not my dad, Carlos. And you are lucky you're not my daughter. Thank God. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I will see you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light. You're not my dad, dad continues. You stay with the group. Much love, Pete. Much love. <laughs> Alright. So the next episode, I'll pour one out for Pete, and we will get going across that bridge. Build a bridge full of relationship. <laughs> Sail your relationship underneath. Woo! Alright, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, see you guys on the next episode, and if you liked the video, don't forget about liking, commenting, or subscribing to let me know that you liked it, so I'll make a few more. Alright, see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye, and...